Hey folks, it's your main man E here and I'm here with Poppy. Poppy's a young dog, but she's really scared. She started being fearful, reactive to people. And so we're working on building up confidence here using our agility course and we're using a 10 foot leash on the long line. We've got some ZWP here and a very filthy hand that's just gonna get more filthy here as I work with this dog. So what we're gonna do with this dog is we're gonna have the food in our hand and we're gonna practice our luring skills and our leash skills with this dog in the context of agility. Now, a lot of times people want to go out and work on their leash skills and they want to go on a long 20, 30 minute walk. Folks, that's maybe unreasonable for the dog to focus that long. Perhaps the dog doesn't understand how the leash works. Perhaps the dog doesn't understand how to focus on food. And so I suggest you take five minutes or so and you just work on your leash skills going up and down something. That's going to help the dog understand how the leash tightens. They turn over to you. Yes, and then they get food. So it's super important that we have a master of the leash skills and that our dog feels confident in our ability to handle the leash. So when we have a dog that's scared or nervous and we purposefully make a challenge, like in this case, it's coming up on here and we can see the dog's like, oh my God, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But we successfully guide them with the leash, our body language, our voice and our food. The dog's like, you know, if I'm not sure, my handler knows how to guide me effectively and I'm gonna succeed. So, good. Let's go, we'll go around some other obstacles and see what she does. You'll notice I'm leaving the leash loose. That's on purpose, folks. I want this dog to feel free and feel relaxed right now and to understand that the leash is tight. I'm telling her to do something very clearly that, you know, there's a goal in mind. She could very easily get overwhelmed just from feeling the leash be tight. Uh-uh, come on, hop up. Good job, nice. Good girl, come on, hop up. Yeah, sit. Now this brings me to another point. Uh-uh, down, good which is doing your obedience on top of these objects. Folks, when you do your obedience commands, your sit stays, your down stays, and all that stuff on a raised object, it's not only helping the dog understand, like I'm gonna stay on top of this thing, and it's helping them understand this concept of staying put, but you're also gonna build up their confidence. Like I know how to stay in a variety of different conditions, in a variety of different positions, and even if mom or dad asked me to lay down somewhere and there's something I'm not sure about happening, it's no big deal. I know how to succeed. I know how to just lay down. Let's walk her through these weave pulls. Come on. Now, this is where, like I said, we practice our skills because she's distracted by the camera person of using the leash and the food at the same time, essentially pulling her, yes, towards the food. Up, up. Sit. Down. And same here with my down. I pull down, I use the food, good. I use them at the same time. Let's go. Good job, good job. Uh-uh, this way, up, up. Let's go, up, up. sit, down, good. Let's go. It's right there. <laughs> Wander has eyesight. She just poops. Okay. We have to start luring a wander with the treats and the poop scooper. Come on. Yes. Well, folks, that's a perfect example of like all that work that I did pulling her towards the food. She just encountered the poop scooper there. Alondra's there. She's like, oh my God, what's this? And she goes, you know what? I understand. If he pulls the leash, I move forward. And if I move forward when I'm not sure, I'm probably going to get a reward. I'm going to succeed. Uh-uh. Sit. Sit. Good girl. So that's all, folks. You're just going to do this for a short period of time. You want there to be a high level of success. If you find yourself getting frustrated, the dog's getting frustrated, Start again at another time, start again with higher value food, or start again, you know, maybe when you're just in a better headspace. And I promise you, you will only get better with time. Remember, as always, folks, we don't blame them, we train them. And if you have a dog like Poppy, and you're a great owner like she has great owners, be very lucky that you brought her to us. Because we're going to get her straightened out, we're going to get her to stop being scaredy cat. She's going to turn into that great, calm girl that we know she can be. Good girl, Poppy. Okay, folks, until then, we'll see you next time.